WRI guidelines are a series of recommendations for carbon capture and storage projects. They provide a benchmark moving forward for those who need to make decisions about potential projects on whether or not those projects will be operated responsibly. The guidelines are written for policymakers, they're written for regulators, and they're also written for project operators and owners. Um, they offer specific guidance for um, the technical details of a CCS project for carbon capture, guidelines for carbon transport, and also guidelines for storage that cover the gamut from the early planning stages of a project and characterizing your geologic formation all the way through the post-closure stewardship phase and ensuring that the storage integrity is, is permanent. Recognizing the important role that CCS can play in a climate change mitigation strategy, WRI started the CCS project over two years ago and engaged a group of stakeholders that ran the gamut from uh, utilities, oil and gas companies, to environmental groups, and um, many of the leading academics. They not only came to the table with a variety of uh, business perspectives, but also a variety of academic perspectives. We included um, lawyers and economists as well as engineers and geologists, um, social scientists and biologists. We really ran the gamut in terms of our expertise and in terms of the, the type of our interest in a future CCS market. Over the course of the two years, the stakeholder group met many times and um, in person and by phone and really worked together to arrive at recommendations for how to practically move forward with CCS in a way that the storage would be safe and secure and permanent. Another important step building on the release of the guidelines is taking them and looking at them in the context of specific demonstration projects. Um, there are proposals coming forward in the context of the U.S., in the context of the broader world and the G8 goal. Looking at the WRI guidelines, working with project proponents and deciding and determining how they're being implemented is an important next step in terms of ground truthing them. The guidelines go quite a ways towards outlining how to do CCS projects, but they do leave a few issues open. Um, the guidelines offer some preliminary thoughts for post-closure stewardship, but because that was an area where the stakeholders disagreed, there's definitely room for some more detailed work in outlining practically what monitoring needs to happen or should happen, if any, over the long term when and how responsibility for a site transfers from the project operator perhaps to the government or another entity and how the, that responsibility matches to the financial responsibility if something goes wrong. The guidelines set a mark and, and, offer, and offer some preliminary guidance for how for demonstration projects an entity could be created that would manage the sites over the long term. But there's definitely need for some clear policies that outline when that trans when that responsibility transfers, how, and specifically what needs to be done to maintain and ensure responsibility and stewardship over, for a site over the long time frame. The guidelines that WRI developed were developed primarily in the U.S. context. We had stakeholders that were international, but largely the guidelines are applicable. They're, they're written with many references to U.S. law. One of the things that's important moving forward is, is looking internationally and how the guidelines apply in other contexts. One of the things that's incredibly important is, is China and India. Um, in China, we, we all know that CO2 emissions are, are growing rapidly with construction of new coal-fired power plants. F many have said that finding a solution to climate change necessitates finding a solution to coal. Specifically, finding a solution for coal in China is an essential next step. We're going to be looking at the WRI guidelines in the Chinese context in partnership with Tsinghua University and identifying what are the gaps, how the guidelines apply to China, working with a team of experts from both countries to outline how CCS can be done in the Chinese context.